In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can use Java and all the Java skills you have learned in our bootcamp so far to create a secret transmission protocol, like a secret messaging protocol with your friends. So you can send your friends messages in secret uh, with like your own encoding, uh, like compression algorithms and um, only your friend will be able to decode it. Let's get started. Welcome back to my channel another new video. In this video, we're continuing the complete data structures, algorithms, interview preparation bootcamp in Java. So if you want to watch previous videos, previous topics, you want to clear your FANG interviews, coding rounds, check out the links in the description below. And in this video, we're going to learn about a very important uh, algorithm, Huffman encoding, Huffman coding, Huffman decoding, whatever you want to call it. Um, but we're going to learn about encoding, decoding. So, you know, for example, you have zip files. You know, you have compressed files and then you use your unzip um, um, tools and software and it unzips the file into a nice little folder. So the compression algorithms, you know, reducing the file size. How, how do we do that? What sort of algorithms do we use? A very popular algorithm for that is Huffman, right? Huffman coding. So we're going to compress, we're going to learn how to compress files in this video. So very exciting, right? And Huffman coding has a lot of uh, real world impl impl implementations. It is used like in fax, when you used to send fax machines and like text, things like that, and your gzip and your zip files and things like that. Many codecs like your songs, like mp3, your, your photos, like jpg, and uh, all sorts of things, right? So let's learn about Huffman coding. How does Huffman coding work and how are we going to reduce the size? One thing you have to understand is any information, any digital information in this world, anything, it's in the form of bits of ones and zeros. Any 4K, 8K video you have, any picture you have, anything you have, it is all in the form of zeros and ones. So that is how we know that we can compress here anything. Right? But how do we actually compress? What do we do? So first thing I want to share is that Huffman coding, if you talk about Huffman coding, this is a lossless algorithm. So data will not be lost. Okay. Lossless data compression. Lossless data compression. All right. Sometimes when you're video calling with people or you're uploading videos on YouTube and stuff, some frames may drop. Okay, so that's not lossless. Some data is lost. So where do we get started with Huffman coding? Uh, okay, so let's say everything in ones and zeros. So in this example, let's say I take a string. Okay, I'll take a string in Java. I can say, let's say I have a string. That is something like A, A, B, C, D, A, G, or whatever. This is a string. What is the space taken by this string in Java? What is the size of one character in Java? Two bytes. So this is equal to total. How much space is this taking? Two bytes. Or 2 into 8. 2 bytes per character. So total characters, how much do we have? 7. So 7 into 2 characters. So 7 characters, each character is 2 bytes. So 16 bytes in total. Okay. And how many bits in total? Multiplied by 8. So 112 bits. Okay. 112 bits it is taking. So this is the size of your file for example or your data. What does compression mean? Compre data compression mean I want to store the same amount but in less number of size, less number of bits. Are you able to understand? That's what compression is. You have a, you have a picture that is like 10, 10 MB, you compress it down to 2 MB or something sometimes, right? So, data should not be lost, string should be as it is, 
but I have to reduce the number of bits it takes to store it. How can we do that? So for this we use Huffman coding. Let's see what Huffman coding is, how it works. So we will take two hash maps. This is now we're talking about the Huffman coding algorithm. Okay, so we will have two hash maps. We will have an encoder and decoder. This will have key as character and string here. I will tell you what it is in just a minute. String here, char here. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Okay. So encoder and decoder. Encoding means that you transform a sequence of like some character into bytes or bits or whatever you want to call it. Decoder is you take that sequence of bytes and convert that into character. We'll see in just a minute. So what are the steps? So the steps are very simple for Huffman uh, encoding. Step number one is we're going to actually get like a pattern, you know, for every character in the string. For example, we will pass the string that is point number one, pass the main string that you want to compress. This is known as your data, also known as feeder. And we're going to make a frequency map of it. Make, we, we did this in the last section, count sort frequency map. So for example, A, B, C, D. A is coming 60 times, B is coming 30 times, C is coming 8 times, D is coming 2 times. Okay. A is coming 60 times in the string that we whole message that I want to compress. So actually in this video, we're actually making a program where you will be you know able to send decoded messages to your friend <laughs> so pretty cool okay so frequency map is made over here now what i'm gonna do is step number three for every key in the frequency map for every key in frequency map i'm going to create a node create a node and insert that node in a min heap. We have done heaps before. This is also known as priority queue. We have done this before in our previous lecture. Right? Kunal, what does this node look like? Node has this data. It has a character, data. It has an int cost. Okay. A cost is what? Cost is the frequency. That's it. Okay. So for if data is equal to A, then cost is equal to number of times it is occurring 60. Okay. It will also have a node left. Left and right. Which is going to make a tree and using that tree will create our pattern and using that pattern we will encode and decode our string i will just show you in just a minute okay so initial heap will look like something like this uh, nothing in the left and right a cost 60 b 30 c and d Initially left and right nothing. What is the C and D at 8 and 2? 8 and 2. Okay. Since it is a min heap, which item will be removed first? The smallest one? Based on the, based on the, let's say if it's min heap based on the cost. So D will be removed first. Because it is min heap. If you don't know heaps, watch the heap video. Okay. I'm showing you step by step. So next step, step number 4. Go through the heap. Remove two elements from the heap and combine them. So remove 
two elements from heap and combine which two will be removed d will be removed and c will be removed okay c and d removed because it's min heap so if i combine it i will say c and d i can just write like this node left is going to be equal to c node right is going to be equal to d cost of c 8 x x d is 2 left nothing right nothing so you can see how i'm forming my tree and when i i remove two nodes from the heap and i create another new node the left of that node will be the uh, one of the removed ones right will be the another removed one now you'll be like kunal how do you know c is left and d, d is right can it not be d right d left and c right yes doesn't matter this can be interchanged also interchanged order does not matter of the left and right okay interchanged is fine this new one this will be null no name but what is the cost now 8 plus 2 10 so now my updated heap is what i have a I have B, I have this one, C, D, this is null, no name as such, this value is 10, this is having C pointer and D pointer. Easy? This is what my heap looks like now. Sound good? Now what will be removed? We have three nodes now. This node, this node and this node. Min heap will remove two nodes again. What are the two smallest nodes? Don't consider the C and D now. Because it's, because it's a part of these three nodes. Like it's a part of this node right now. This one. It's a part of this node. So in total I have three nodes only. C and D are now part of left and right child of this node. Don't be like Kunal, now we have five nodes. No. One node, one node, one node. Okay. So updated heap will be what? What will be removed now? You tell me. Two smallest ones. 10 and 30. So C, D and B removed. So C, D and B will be removed. It will form B, C, D. If it forms B, C, D, right? So here I will have null. 30 plus 10, 40. Here it will have B node. Here it will have C, D node. Okay. Updated heap. A 60 and B C D this null is just nothing I'm not giving it any name as such cost is 40 uh, B and C D only two nodes are left so I will combine and remove these two nodes and combine those so it will be formed a b c d right this will be 60 plus 40 100 see the pattern see what i'm doing a will come here b c d will come here now only this node is in the heap okay so what does this node look like what does this look like um If I expand it, okay, if I expand it, what will it look like? A basically just means A over here. Now B, C, D means what? 
we know we know what bcd means here 40 b and cd 40 b and cd okay then again b node as it is cd cd looks like this c and d nothing here this was 10 then node c node d node d nothing nothing this is what it looks like my final tree this is what my final tree looks like easy nothing major i have just taken a frequency map step number one i have listed down steps as well listed down steps as well okay so make the frequency map convert every key in the map into a node and put all those in a heap keep removing two and as you keep removing two combine and put it back in the heap simple now one more thing is you need to do is when you move left you have to add zero so i will start reading zero and i will go right one left zero right one zero one so all the left you put zero all the right you put one don't ask why this is the algorithm so for example i'm like well, we do in linear search we start searching from the first element why in the binary search we have to cut it in middle why why do we need to do it don't be that guy don't be that student here it's saying that left has to be zero right has to be one why or what do you mean why it's the algorithm someone created it it's the algorithm okay because that's how we're gonna use it if you do want to know the reason behind it it's so that uh, we don't have let me just show you the reason so what we're going to do is we're going to retrieve the last node okay and we're going to pass the tree to fill the encoder and decoder so my encoder and my decoder now i will explain to you why we are doing zeros and ones here a b c d a b c d okay so here if I say, what is the value of A? The value of A is the path that takes it to reach from the main node, root node to A. Root node to A path is just this one and it's only 0, so it will be 0. What does it take to reach B? You tell me, 1, 1, 0. B is 1, 0. C c is from root node 1 1 0 1 1 0 and d is 1 1 1 okay 1 1 1 1 1 0 1 0 0 sounds good this is how we form our encoder and decoder hash maps okay kunal this is fine every character that was in our main message that we want to send our friend has a different uh, value now in the form of ones and zeros because we know in reality everything is boiled down to one and zero this is fine kunal we can make this it's easy just create frequency map every node for every key in the map put all those in a heap take two out combine those two put it back in keep doing it till one item is remaining in the heap that is fine and then we do left hand side 0 right hand side 1 we do that and we get a sequence of bits as a number for every character that is in the string but how is it going to help us some reduce the size and encode and decode let's see now now let's see the magic so step number forgot to write the steps 4 was this step number four step number this last one here i can say five this one 
सिक्स स्टेप नंबर सेवन हाउ टू एन कोड एंड डी कोड सो लेट से स्ट्रिंग इज द मैसेज यूर सेइंग योर फ्रेंड इज ए बी बी सी सी डी ए सपोज दैट इज द मैसेज यूर सेंडिंग योर फ्रेंड ओके लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल एंड दिस इज आई नो वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व बिट्स बिकॉज सेवन इंटू टू बाइट्स इंटू एट बिट्स ओके सो इफ आई राइट ए बी बी सी डी ए ए बी बी सी सी डी ए if i write it replace it using the encoder map a is 0 b is 10 again b is 10 c is 110 again c 110 d is 111 and a is again 0 how much how many bits are these 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 bits so we saved the original message in 15 bits instead of 112 bits compression nice now how do you make this using this uh, series of bits how do you make the original message you check a you check for zero is zero existing in the in the encoder yes i will do a check for one one existing no one zero existing yes b one zero existing again yes b One existing no. One one existing no. One one zero existing yes. C again one one zero C. One existing no. One one existing no. One 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 existing yes. Zero existing yes. There you go. How cool is that? Okay. So the. question is you will be like kunal what if some other the the doubt that people have is kunal what if there some other sequence of characters here like 010 why is it not checking for 010 this is not happening because our tree is making sure that the value any value is not a prefix of the next value here you can see no value is prefix of another value so if a is a is going to be 0 then there is no other value that has starting 0 if the value of b is 10 there is no other value that has starting as 10 if the value of c is 110 there is no other value is starting at 110 so on and so forth make sense that is how it makes sure you may have this doubt kunal what if there's some other thing in the middle like 010 or 101 no so 15 bits instead of using 112 you're using 15 bits okay sounds good cool cool space complexity is what to store it in the the hap map and stuff that i'm creating this is very easy we go of n but the question is time complexity is what let's say there are n nodes what is the time complexity you're adding and removing nodes in the heap 2 into n minus 1 times isn't that what you're doing you add and remove you add and remove 2 into n minus 1 times okay or 2 n times whatever you want to call it if you want to be specific you can do 2 into n minus 1 times because the first node because one node will always remain in the heap right you are not removing that last node that's why n minus 1 and you're doing every operation twice and what is the cost to remove an element or an insert an element into the heap this is actually insertion and removal right you first inserting then you are removing so twice for every element but not the very first element what is the cost for every insertion or deletion in the heap log of n time complexity is n log n 
log of n into 2 into n minus 1 constants removed o of n log n that's it that's huffman coding and decoding easy it is very easy but now we're going to code it so let's code it by the way code can be found in the description below okay so here i have my file and also since we're using heap we have done heaps before check out the video and i showed you how to create this entire heap function so uh not the function the class so your own heap class priority queue whatever you can use the inbuilt one as well but i'm just going to use the one i created in previous lectures so you can watch the previous lecture if you want to learn more about how heaps work internally and everything but we're going to create huffman coder so I'll, let's say i'll create a new file huffman coder.java and i am going to use because we're going to use hash map map set all sorts of things okay so what do we need to do i need two hash maps one encoder one decoder the key of encoder is character value is string and for decoder value is character key is string not a problem i can do that hash map this is encoder this is decoder i'm going to create a node what does node contain it is my node a uh, data cost left and right and i want to compare two nodes as well so i'll implement comparable now i'll recognize what is this implements comparable please don't ask me weird questions what's the object learning farming playlist you're learning about hash maps and you're asking me what is implements in java no not cool generics and implements and stuff read what's the object farming playlist character data i'll take the wrapper class i'll have the cost i'll have the node left node right this is nothing but frequency okay constructor when a new node is added and initially when a new node is added this is fine but the left and right are null okay that looks good and when we want to compare compare two nodes i want to compare two nodes for min heap okay so we were telling us it was telling us that it's a min heap so in the min heap it's going to be like it's taking the lowest value the well, lowest value of what this node has four values a character an integer a left and a right on which basis do you want me to say i know you're saying take the lowest in the basis of cost like minimum heap or priority queue based on what based on the string or the the character or the number the number so that's why i have to implement comparable and the qu question for you is which method do i have to override which method do i have to override in order to do this compare to method i'll do a reminder for you okay i know i can i can sense it you know through the camera when there are there are some students have no idea about object oriented programming no idea about inheritance no idea about overriding functions anything they have no idea no clue and then they start commenting and asking questions why have not you watched the object oriented programming playlist that's my question so if you're given let's say type node okay and you're given node a and node b you're you're like is node a greater than node b java will get confused what do you mean which 
property of node do you want me to compare when you're saying is node A greater than node B? Do you want to compare the string of the node? Do you want to compare the integer of the node or the marks, whatever, whatever you have? If, let's say if it's a student node. So you have to explicitly tell it using the override method, the override annotation by overriding the compare to method. I'm going to override based on cost. Okay, you all know, right? When when it returns negative means it's smaller, uh, positive means bigger, zero means both are equal. Very simple stuff. Why are you getting confused with like just watch object programming list? Okay, now constructor. I'll pass my string and it may throw an exception. Okay, this is my constructor over here and in the constructor only I will do everything. So when a new st when a string is passed to me, I want to do some stuff. Okay, I want to encode and decode, but I want to form this entire tree in the constructor only. So how do we do that? Just read the notes that I have written, pass the string, pass the string, make the frequency map, not a problem. I will not even think, I will just do what the, what the PDF says that I have over here in the uh, notes, the, this one, the, what's it called? Uh, good notes. But yeah, you will find the PDF of this written notes in the description as well. Character, integer, Frequency map is equal to new hash map. Okay. I have to create frequency map for every character in the string. Not a problem. Character is what? For every character, I'll write it in simple terms, okay? If the map contains, I can write it in one line, but I'm writing it in every single step so you know. But I should not because previous lectures we have already covered how to create frequency map in hash maps. So, yeah. I can say original value, I'm really doing it too much. <laughs> Get the original value that already exists. Okay, so if the character already exists, um, then just increase the original value plus one and put it in the map. Character, original value. If it does not exist, put one. Like, okay, this is the first time I'm getting it. This will create me my frequency map okay sounds good cool now next step is creating the min heap okay already created the file for this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a set as well an entry set okay so what I need to do is every pair in this map over here as you can see like a and 60 b and 30 this is known as a map entry so map interface dot entry so I can create it in a set so I can iterate over this set for example, I can say map dot entry character comma integer, right? And this is actually I'm going to say set 
that contains these elements. So entry set from my frequency map I can call entry set. So it will just give me all the sets. Okay, it will give me all these over here. And then I can iterate upon it. For every entry in entry set, what do I need to do? For every entry individually that I'm getting, I need to create a node. Entry dot get key. Okay, I hope this thing is clear. It's just creating a set of all the entries in the map. That's it. This thing. Okay, you can print it as well. It's very simple. Um, after you create the note, you have to insert in min heap. Done. Sounds good. Next step. Uh, this I have inserted. Remove two elements from the heap, heap and combine while the heap size remains one. So while min heap dot size is not equal to one, remove two elements. Node first is equal to min heap dot remove. Node second is equal to min heap dot remove. New node will be the one formed by joining them together. node and name as such I'll just add here first and what is the total cost first dot cost plus second dot cost and the new nodes first dot cost second dot cost left will be equal to the left uh, first removed right will be equal to the next removed new node dot left is equal to First remove, removed, new dot dot right is equal to second removed, and then I will insert it back in. Okay, after this is done, it will be over. All right, now we want to create the full tree, which is this one. So let's say this node is called ft full tree node tree so that will be node full tree is equal to i will say min heap dot remove and i have this node now and using this i have to form encoder and decoder okay so i can say this dot and coder is equal to initially empty new hash map decoder is equal to initially empty new hash map if i want to fill the encoder and decoder i can do it in another function in it in it encoder decoder i will pass the tree string initially i'll pass empty okay so here i can create in it deco encoder decoder And this is going to have a node and string. Uh, it's going to contain the output so far that we have because we're creating encoder decoder. So the output so far that we have uh, because we want to calculate, right? What is the output so far that we have? Because we, we are calculating the series 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay. So output so far initially it's empty. I can say if node is equal to equal to null, I will just return. And what I'm going to do is that what is my output so far? So this is just recursion. I'm going down. It's just recursion. OK. So where do I have the path? What is the path? You tell me. Think about it. 
it's easy this is the tree given to you for example we've done binary search trees right binary trees this essentially is like a binary tree format so this a this b that we are getting this c that we are getting and this d we are getting can you see that these are all leaf nodes so whenever you are at a leaf node whatever path so far that you have be that 0 1 0 1 1 0 uh, sorry 1 1 1 or 1 1 0 that path will stop when you are at the leaf node easy so if node dot left is equal to equal to null and node dot right is equal to equal to null it means that i am at the leaf node it means that i am at the leaf node so i have found one of the characters so i will just add that character in my encoder and decoder so encoder i will add character string and then decoder i will add string and character okay encoder dot this dot encoder dot put node dot data uh, output so far this dot decoder I will put output so far as keys and then the value will be node dot data that's it otherwise I will just do recursion I will go left and right whenever I go left in the path I will add 0 whenever I go right in the path I will add 1 node dot left output so far plus I'm just gonna add 0 please don't ask me questions about basic recursion okay cool because that's not cool all right so that's basically about it now what do we need to do this table is formed now how do we encode and decode let's create an encode method and decode method we are given a string we have to encode it similarly we are given a this is the message you will give your friend you are given a let's say coded string and you have to decode it so how do you encode a string how do you create a string into so you take a and you will just take the value of a which is 0 and I will just put it in my string answer is equal to you can use string builder but I am lazy so I will just do it like this but please use string builder okay I have taught you string builder before so traverse every character answer plus encoder dot get the character that's it how will you decode you are given this string like this okay mm. you're given zero so you will start using zero you will first of all go one by one okay so that's fine mm. coded string dot length I will go one by one but what will I do I am at index zero I have to find my key zero one zero one one zero or one 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 so I will take a key key is equal to initially empty I will say key is equal to key plus coded string dot char at i so I have my key now as I move forward okay if so I will be like okay let's say I'm here at 1 does my hash map 
this decoder contain one? No, it doesn't. Then keep moving forward. Right. If it contains key, then I will just add it in my answer. I will say answer is equal to answer plus decoder dot get the key. This will give me the character. And now key will be reset to again empty. And I need a string answer also. In the end just return the answer. That's it. Uh, done. Huffman coding. That was it. Cool, cool. Sounds good. Okay. Easy what I did. Encoding and decoding. I was just taking. Encoding was easy. Just take A and whatever the value of A is, put that in a string. Similarly for B, whatever the value of B is, put that in a string. Now I know it is being stored in string, but I just wanted to show you the mechanism. You can put it in bits as well. You can do whatever you want. Uh, but this is I wanted to show you the mechanism. Let's run this. Okay. Those exception string, I'm going to say A, B, B, C, C, D, A. Huffman encoder new encoder string and say string coded string is equal to window encode the string decoded string is equal to decode coded string and let's print it as well coded string decoded string okay So what I would recommend is you can, you know, in order to make the best one, bit set can be used. So it's like an array, but with a bit at each index. Okay. That is what I would recommend. Um, let's try to run this. Okay. Just fix some typos and commas and stuff. Um, let's run this. Same string. So coded, uh, coded string, decoded string. Yay. Easy. I know I'm storing it as strings right now. Don't worry. I know. I know that here I'm storing it as, uh, you know, here as a string. But you can, I'd say, bit set you can use as a homework. It's like an array only but like with a bit at each index. Okay, so use bit set and create it. But yeah, your own um, encoder and decoder you created. Now you can pass messages to your friends in binary code and then you can communicate secretly or whatever. <laughs> but uh, thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions, leave those in the comment section below. This code can be found in the description as well, the link. You can directly run it on your browser, my code and the notes and everything I'll leave in the description below. Any questions you have, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.